spoken to the school and there's an informal social for the parent teachers tonight and you have permission to set up exhibit materials and promote Africa Aid. Your charities, how, how, how can I put this? It's not operating at the peak of its powers. Well, first you won't have sex with me and now you're siding with random members of the public. No more experimenting with fun until we have a foolproof plan. I need to prove that this is a proper charity. <laughs> What are we not going to tell Dana? That she takes everything other than personal grooming too seriously. <laughs> no, you can tell her that. OK. No, we are not going to repeat the swimming pool tale. It'll be fine. Everyone will understand that, you know, we're late because we thought we were going to the swool. No, they won't, because that is not an abbreviation that anybody uses. <sighs> Did you spot her? No. All the women there were, like, pushing 60. I'm pretty sure Mike's not desperate enough to have an affair with one of them. Right! Where's this banner? I left it at the school. You left the banner at the pool? Yeah, um, when I was buying you gin, I had to leave it behind the bar as a deposit. Is that standard bar policy? It is at Swool's. We've got the business cards. And we need the banner! Banner equals planning, yeah? No one accidentally gets a banner. The bar at the school just did. Oh. That's where I left it by accident. Well, you know, not so bad, are they? Jeez, they are tiny. Not if we put small objects behind them. You know, like a fun-sized chocolate. Mm. Boing. So the banner will go here, over the yeah, top of the tables. Like and, hi, you got the banner. What's like a banner but transportable? A smaller banner. Uh-oh! <laughs> oh, well, at least John's got the tables. <laughs> What's meant by nesting tables? Oh, no, you've got a nest of tables. Apparently, once you set up a nest, you should never go back to it. Um, I, 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 I'd set up a nest for you, Claire, and I would keep coming back to it. If you build me a nest, yeah. I will kill you, you freak. Bit of office banter there. We like to do things a bit differently at Africa Aid. It's all about the fun. And the pain au chocolate. Pain au chocolate. <laughs> and the pain of chocolate. <clears throat> Je voudrais un pain au chocolat, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, oh, we'll just get set up. So, um, if there's anything you need to do. Disappointed. Do you know where the pano chocolate are? No, uh, uh, um, has anybody here seen the pano chocolate? Uh, uh, Why is she lying down? Um, do, do you know where the pano chocolate are? It, it's French. Do you not speak it? It means um, on pain of chocolate, mm. so it's like a warning. Hello, all. <laughs> I believe the pano chocolate is in the kitchen. Ooh. Nice pronunciation. Are you fluent? Oh, I'm pretty well. What, what, what's happening? Is everyone OK? Um... Sleeping lions? Yes! The reason you're all here is for an adult version of sleeping lions. Sleeping with lions? No, John. It's the adult version. <laughs> <laughs> staggering reaction. OK, what are the rules? Everyone copy Claire. Everyone get down on the floor and pretend to be asleep and I will um, prowl about and identify anyone who's out of the game. You're out of here. No, 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 we haven't started yet. OK, um, let... Hang on, hang on, what's this got to do with Africa Ray? <laughs> you sound like me at our meetings. <laughs> um, is everyone OK? I thought everyone collapsed to the floor and I thought the terrorists had come. Staggering reaction. Hey, that's Donna's catchphrase. Not catchphrase, just something I said. Do I need to go buy a gun? OK, this is so exciting. OK, let the game okay, begin so in just three, okay. a two, a three, Let's two, one and go. Lion sleep tonight. 
And of course, this is all in the name of charity, AfricaAid, the most fun charity there is. And there will be prizes for first, second and third. Ooh. Okay, you're out. God, my mates will be laughing at this. This whole room is rigged up with CCTV. Ah, no, what does CCTV mean? Crime, compromism, three divisions. No. This person isn't sleeping. Um, I'm talking to a CCTV expert. That's not a rebuttal, that's a damning indictment. You're both disqualified. And so are you. No talking. This is bull! And you too, Stephen, and you. She, you use your catchphrase. No, it's not a catchphrase, it's something else there. Come on, Steve. Let's go. Do you have a girlfriend or uh, not yet? John, you won! And you got to do that incredibly well-rehearsed dance to celebrate. <laughs> Flash mob. And that was the best bit. Prize was terrible. Who wants to sponsor a goatsy? You're saying that wrong. Oh, now I can't even say goatsy right. Look, I want to do it again and win a proper prize. That's why you want to do it again. Not because it could be our charity's ice bucket challenge. Oh. Mm. Tenth time he's called. Yeah. Don't, don't answer that. He does not deserve me. Um, hi, hi, Mike. Hi, it's it's Stephen. Yeah, sorry, Claire. Claire can't come to the phone right now. She's going at it like a lion. I, I absolutely um, do not want to. Yes, know I, that. I, I was wondering, would you like to promote our charity at your pub? Why did nobody tell me this before? Anyway, oh, why is it quite hard to hear you on this line, uh, Mike. But also, while I've got you, um, what would you say? to purchasing some brand new CCTV equipment. This isn't the right time or the place well, to do Well, well what I will say is, you know, um, I was speaking to a local security expert and um, they, they said that illegal entries are up 17% in the local area, a fact which is made worse by the fact that you are local. Oh, yeah, that sounds really interesting, actually. Yeah, can you oh, really? tell me a bit more about Oh, oh great, great. Um, cool, well, I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning then. Um, super, and when I said Claire was going at it like a uh, lion, I meant sleeping like a lion. Do you not want to know that? Oh, you've got to go. Cool, well, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, Mike. Yeah, right. yeah, stop saying go, you see. Right, John tells me that his sleeping ideas have really paid off and he wants to run another game, this time with more people and a bigger prize. Oh, I'm glad he's taken ownership of an idea. It's a shame it wasn't his. I think you're just jealous you can't fall asleep as quickly as I can. <laughs> you have a remarkable ability to turn a negative into a positive. <laughs> oh, thank you. I wish I was better at that. I wish Mike could just waggle at someone near me. She means Mike's penis, right? Look, I have a quiz night running at the community centre tomorrow night. One night only. You run it as Africa Aid Sleeping Lions? Great, yes. Right, we are leaving that. Claire can sleep here tonight, right? Sure. You all can. I've got plenty of chocolate and brought for breakfast. Do you know what? I think that's a really good idea. Me and Stephen can plan the Sleeping Lines event, work out the hashtag and supplementary interaction to encourage a grassroots movement and viral spread of the concept. I'll spend time making up words to make my boss feel silly. She means she'll try to make Sleeping Lions Africa Aid popular. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> I don't need luck when I've got my noggin. <laughs> That's my catchphrase. That's not a catchphrase. That's just something you said. Right, let's get to work. Let's put the fun into future funding application is successful. I'll find someone to donate a really good prize. I, I can almost taste that chocolate bread. Uh, and, and I'll make sure no one cheats. I'd hate to lose to a cheater. Or a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> no, he I... meant the African animal. It, it was a joke. <laughs> That's what I said. That's what he said. That's what you said? Yes. Cheater. Welcome 
welcome to the first official Sleeping Lions contest in aid of Africa Aid. Um, remember, you can join in with the hashtag.